Israel has successfully conducted the first integrated airdrop test of the parachute-based deceleration system for the Gaganyaan mission. India's envoy to Russia has said that Indian companies will continue purchasing oil from wherever they get the best deal, and he stressed that India's priority is ensuring energy security for 1.4 billion people. After the White House trade advisor Peter Navarro accused India of profiting from buying discounted Russian oil, the Indian External Affairs Minister has said, If you have a problem buying uh, oil from India, oil or refined products, don't buy it. Nobody forced you to buy it. I mean, but Europe buys, America buys. So you don't like it, don't buy it. India and China have agreed to reopen traditional border trade through the Lipo Lek Pass, Ship Kila in Himachal Pradesh, and the Natula Pass in Sikkim. Lucknow based PTC Industries has secured a 110 crore rupees order from Brahmos Aerospace to supply critical titanium castings for the Brahmos missile program. The Indian Army will operationalize its newly raised Bairaf Commando battalions by the end of this month. Five battalions are being positioned along critical frontiers, three in the northern sector facing China and Pakistan, one in the northeast, and one on the western front. The Indian Air Force will equip its stages Mark I IOC and FOC variants with software-defined radios, bringing them in line with the Tejas Mark I-A standard. The upgrade will require structural changes similar to the Mark I-A, including redesigned antenna placements and rewiring. The RDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment has told the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Defence that the first Hale UAV prototype will be ready by late 2025, that will have two configurations, a turbofan model for high-speed stealth missions, and a turboprop model for fuel-efficient long-endurance ISR operations. The DRDO has selected Larsen and Tubro as the development and production partner for the 1,500 horsepower automatic transmission system that is designed for next-generation main battle tanks. L&T will industrialize and scale up production, supporting platforms like the Future Ready Combat Vehicle and Arjun Mark II, while reducing dependence on foreign OEMs and opening new export opportunities. Officials have confirmed that the upcoming GTR e Safran 120 kN engine will feature a turbine entry temperature of 2100 Kelvin, a benchmark on par with engines of fifth generation fighters like the F 35 and Su 57, which puts India ahead of China's WS 10 and WS 15, which operate at lower turbine entry temperature and face reliability issues. India will hold full intellectual property rights and a complete domestic supply chain. The core demonstrator testing is planned on a Rafale flying testbed by 2028, with the first full indigenous core targeted for completion by 2029. With two engines generating 240 kN thrust, the AMCA Mark II will achieve a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.29 that is comparable to the F-22 Raptor and far above the Rafale 0.8. The 120 kN jet engine will enable supercruise at Mach 1.5 speed, enhanced agility climb rate and extended range, while reducing fuel burn and infrared signature. Defense analysts have urged India to prioritize a 50-ton manned stealth bomber derived from the Gatak unmanned combat aerial vehicle, instead of acquiring Russia's Tu-160M bomber, as a homegrown stealth platform would provide superior penetration capability in contested airspace, while the Tu-160M would be highly vulnerable to modern air defense systems, and reliance on foreign bombers also carries supply chain risks. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.